Hey, yo, what's good with it, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Wilson. And you are now tuned in to Wilson Block 100 Radio. And we got two very special guests with us here today. Non-duo, the group. Glad to have you here with us. How you doing? Uh, we're good. Thank you for having us. No yeah, doubt. Nice to be here. Yes, thank you, thank you. Now, we got Marina Gutman. Yes. And Paul McCarty, mm-hmm. which make up the members of Non-Duo. And, uh, you know, for our audience listening, go ahead and just give us a quick background. I don't know who's going first, but... <laughs> well, we'll just yeah. uh, talk. Well, Non-Duo, um, well, we were uh, singing and writing songs together before Non-Duo was formed. Uh-huh. And uh, Non-Duo, the name came from the term Non-Dual, which means that underneath all our differences, we're not different, we're right. all one. One, exactly. Um, so that's where that name comes from. No doubt. Yeah, so what else do you want to... So say about that. yeah, so I mean, you you chime in when when it's right, you yeah. know. Uh, so go ahead and, and talk about you know the genre. I know it's real fusion based, mm-hmm. you know. Yes, um, very yeah, well, I mean, our, our yeah, our, our genre kind of kind of floats around by the song, right, um, right. You know, um, uh, kind of eclectic. I mean, it, uh, I have kind of a Americana roots, right. you know, the uh, kind of. Um, uh, you know, that, uh, not and I've really. got Russian roots, yeah. so yeah. together we're a folk kind yeah. of exactly. Group. You know what? When I when I actually noticed that, like, hold on, you're from Europe, yeah. you're from New or- New Orleans. Yeah. I was like, this is Euro America, uh, Euro American, yeah. Yeah. yeah, music. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just thought that was a good way to to kind of you know capture that type of yeah. sound. You know and what I mean? We're both from the swamps of our individual countries. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah. So, you know, I was actually, you know, reading around on the website and I noticed, you know, uh, when speaking on you guys' genres, you know, there was things mentioned like Cajun rock, mm-hmm. you know, which is Cajun is pretty spicy. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah. like, we're, we're, tell me a little more about that. Well, I, I grew up in southern Louisiana, you know, okay. New Orleans area. Right. Uh, and, and hearing a lot of that, hearing also a lot of jazz, which never really kind of sunk into me that much. But, but uh, you know, I, 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 heard, I heard Cajun music a lot and I didn't I didn't like it as a kid but huh. but now you know uh, kind of you know making my own music right. I just I noticed that it's it comes a lot in of influences. it comes into the yeah it comes into the style you, right. know, you, you, you end up drawing on everything that you exactly. grew up with exactly. um, uh, but uh, you know that's that's and, and of course you know I, I grew up listening to you know what is now classic rock you right. know, so that's that's my that's my thing you know that's my um my uh, background uh, there's definitely some influence in there yeah. yeah well my background is very different so <laughs> <I can't> even... <laughs> all right so look, let me ask you uh what were you what was going on in your guys's lives as individuals that led to the formation of non oh. well well we started dating <laughs> oh wow well, there it is there yeah. <laughs> nah. um i was always a, a, a writer and uh he was always a musician, and, and we started writing uh, songs together that came easily to me. Oh, nice. um, I sang from way back in the day when I was a kid. My grandmother is a um, singer, and so uh, so the music didn't really come about for me until I uh, met him, and then it all just really came kind of just brought it out of you. Yes, he just oh, yeah, wow. he brought it out. <laughs> no doubt. And then I know you, Paul. You have a background in the harmonica. You know, definitely heard it on the album. Yeah, well, I I never really I didn't start playing harmonica until like about seven or eight years ago. Really? Um, but it, it you know it's just it's just and you a wouldn't really be able easy, to tell either. It's a <laughs> really, right. but uh, it's just an easy instrument to play. It's okay. it's diatonic. You know, I never right. learned there's a chromatic harmonica, which is an actual instrument that you'd need to practice on. But mm. that I never learned that. But you know, so I I can't claim any virtuosity in that respect <laughs> <laughs> but you but you uh you've always actually been involved with music right so you yeah. were doing like scores for like mm-hmm. movies or yeah film or? yeah i i went to uh music school in college in new orleans and uh, it wasn't loyola yeah oh exactly. <laughs> how do you know yes. loyola? Oh, hey, i mean i had to do my research <laughs> ah okay <laughs> well then you're wrong it was oh. loyola <laughs> oh yeah i was, I was saying it, it was right no. right uh, <laughs> So, um, uh, yeah, I went to Loyola, got a bachelor in, in um, film, or sorry, in, in uh, excuse me, uh, theory, theory and composition. Then mm, I went nice. to USC for a year, and they had a, a film scoring program, so I did that. Cool. And then for, say, about 
12 or so years. I, I, uh, I just did a lot of like indie movie scoring, mm. like student films, whatever I could get trying to make a living at, at scoring. And I, well, I could never, I could never really, uh, <laughs> I, I, I just, it's just making a living at it. And right. I eventually, um, I just kind of lost the passion for it just because, okay. you know, it didn't feel, I feel like it was giving anything back. And so right. uh, I really got out of music for a few years and, mm. and didn't get back to it when, until my, my son, uh, started, uh, picking up guitar. And so I started giving him guitar lessons nice. and then, and then that kind of sparked it back up. Yeah. We kindled, <laughs> right. it, we kindled yeah. the flame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and yeah, and then the kind of the singer songwriter thing ha- happened from there, and so oh, no I've been doubt. doing that since then. And, right on. And, so when did you guys know that you wanted to do an album? Oh, uh, I think almost immediately. Yeah, <laughs> really. I think, I think as soon after as we the first writing. Uh, well, maybe not you know right immediately, but I mean we had so many songs that came quickly. I right. mean it surprised both of us. Right. And uh, we we're like, okay, we have to record them. Right. You know, so, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, we, we there was one song, Dark, that, that yes. uh, we uh, mm-hmm. we recorded that one first, all by itself, and rec- re- yeah, released it, it as a single, um, just because it was like, wow, you know, as soon as we wrote it, it was like, you know, that's really, Theoric. yeah, that's that's <laughs> what we want to say, right. <laughs> and and it feels unique, and, and yeah, so 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 we. Well, you know, it was it was funny. The the day that we were scheduled to go record it, uh-huh. um, uh, we we heard this weird like thunderstorm brewing, in, and this is L.A. You know, wow. there's very it's the middle of summer, L.A., oh, wow. and and we're hearing thunder, and I'm thinking, <laughs> I'm thinking, is that is that like the trash trucks coming and right. smashing all the uh, the dumpsters? Right. Uh, and eventually, I figured, no, that's thunder. Weird. Uh, you know, I had no inkling that it was. Are you coming. sure it wasn't the airplanes flying into LAX? No, no, it started raining. No, I, 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 it was raining oh, when wow. we were recording, yeah. and it's about rain. Yeah, wow. that, there's a lot of mention in of the rain summer in, the, in yeah. the song, and so we thought, okay, that's the the it's universe is telling us, yeah, let's go ahead and record. That no one. doubt. So that created a little. <laughs> atmosphere yeah. around the time yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. wow very interesting yeah. so yeah you know i actually uh i, I listened to the album uh I, I haven't given it the full in-depth yet yeah. Yeah. but uh you know i did go through the whole track list and i did you know get a feel for it mm-hmm. and you know the dark mm-hmm. track you know was one that i felt you know really had a touch of soul to it yeah. you know i really felt that it uh had a little groove in it you know and uh it was one of the ones that i immediately liked yeah. you know so uh no doubt on that one uh, what, what are some more, you know, tracks off the album that you guys like, or, or is there a story behind another one? Oh yeah, uh, well, Small well, Things was one of the uh, first songs that we wrote together, and, it's, okay. and it has a whole story that um, I personally heard right off the bat. And, you know, and he was playing it mm-hmm. to me when I was actually just taking a relaxing bath, uh-huh. and he was uh, playing some. Um, uh, like a riff, like yeah. Like little... I just started playing the, the chords. Yeah, and uh, and then I started hearing this whole story, and that's how yeah. small things <laughs> developed. And you guys are actually working on a video for that one because I saw the yeah. the yeah. Wild yeah. Junkie Dream video. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of <laughs> in yes. uh, it's yeah. kind of in rough cut. The small things that'll be our, our fifth video. On oh yeah, wow, so that's so. four videos. Yeah. Uh, one oh, for no. dark, one for yeah. Wild. Oh Junkie. wow, I got some looking to do. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one. Well, what was it? Um, free and. Um, Shadows and Lights. Yep. Oh, nice. So tell me about the, the Wild Junkie Dream video. Uh, I, I did we notice... Joshua Tree on that. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, because yeah, I noticed there was like some desert in there yeah. and, you know. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we went to Joshua my, Tree. My niece came in uh, to, to shoot that one and a couple of other videos, uh, Shadows and Lights. Nice. Nice. Um, for us, uh, she she had done. She lives in Austin, and she had done oh. some videos for uh, some bands around there, and uh, and so she flew in to work with us. Nice. And, and uh, we went out to uh, to Joshua Tree that day. Wow. We'd uh, written up a story. Did you you wrote you yeah, and, and Meredith kind of wrote up the story, and, uh, and that was yeah, basically just yeah. beat by beat. We yeah. Now, did you guys meet in LA? Yeah. We did, yes. So what Actually, brought you guys? Arcadia. Oh, Arcadia, <laughs> no <remember>. doubt. <laughs> Shout out Arcadia. <laughs> During a sing, uh, like a singer songwriter yeah. serenade, actually, but oh, we were we, neither one of us was performing. It was like a random oh, wow. thing that happened. And so <laughs> when we saw you guys at the Old Oak Cellars, mm-hmm. you know how did you, you know you guys booked that gig? 
right? Uh. So you guys live around Pasadena, Arcadia? Yeah, Alhambra. 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 Oh, okay, no yeah. doubt, no doubt. So how was the experience there at the at the Old Oak Cellars? Old Oak is cool, you yeah. know. It's uh, it's uh, kind of got regular. Uh, they have a month to month thing there, uh-huh. um, and uh, um, you know, it's it's just a regular bunch of people that we 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 know. Known and, throughout uh, the years, uh, yeah. We were actually known that place separately uh, from you know different times, and we, and then we started playing there. Oh, nice. So, I used to go to a lot of like um, uh, what is it called life music stuff. Mm-hmm. Before I met him, okay, um, and I actually seen him perform before. I introduced myself. Actually, we were introduced by a mutual friend. Um, so, and didn't even realize it until later when I found the video I took of him randomly mm. a year prior to meeting. Him. Really? <laughs> yeah. So it was, uh, it was always in the stars. <laughs> nice. So, who were like? What were some? <clears throat> excuse me. Let me start over because sometimes I think faster than I speak. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, where do you guys find inspiration from when you're, when you're writing new songs? Like, what are some things that you do? Maybe some things that you listen to? Um. Well, for me, I mean, it's like I was talking about the uh, non-dual stuff. It's, you know, the, the oneness and everything. I mean, for me, it comes from a, a deep spiritual place. Right. And the stories that I've written, you right. know, it's all kind of like... Yeah, because you're a novelist. Yes, we know yeah. that, too. <laughs> So you you wrote books, you journalism, or what, what um, uh, mainly just books and uh, and right now I'm actually looking for a presentation. Um, so and a lot of my books and stories have to do with uh, uh, the spiritual aspect of life and kind mm. of realizing um, who we are and why right. we're here and what's the point. And no doubt. Love comes in too. Right, <laughs> and then you know Paul helps you bring out the the songwriter of, of that. Uh, yeah, the songwriter part of that and, no uh, and the singing. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I, I, I've always been a little bit, a, a lot slower at at writing lyrics than, mm. than um, music. You know, music is kind of easy for me, but lyrics I just take my time. Okay, so with, you more so, so produce the music. I well, uh, or all of it's collaborative. It's, it's, it's hard to say. I mean, he's a. Um, He'll he'll have a riff or something yeah. like I'll have some chords, uh-huh. she'll and, come then up with and, and then and then I'll be yeah. like like this, you right? Know? <laughs> like yeah, yeah. like know, that, with, yeah, like that. Like you know, it should go up and it should be faster. It should be like you know, and uh, and then I'll sing it, you know, based on how I hear right. it, and then he'll play it and I'll try Make to match it, you know. So nice. Um, so who who are some like musicians that like influenced you musically? Like who are some people? You say you listen to a lot of classical rock. Who are some musicians that actually? Well, I I would say um, like I I grew up loving uh, like Neil Young mm-hmm. and um, uh, I think I think a more immediate immediate influence would have been like Ryan Adams. Like okay. when I when I when my son picked up guitar and I started you know playing again. You know that that was who I I was like listening to very intensely at the time, and so I started covering a lot of his songs, and nice. that kind of got me going in in that style. Right. Um, but uh, Marina, was, well, probably the Beatles, you know, <laughs> of course. The That's Beatles. a cop out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, not for a foreigner. Right. Not for, we well, weren't allowed they're... to listen to that kind of stuff. So really? for me, it was all new stuff. When I came here, well, they... I didn't even know who the Beatles were when I was over there. Wow. <laughs> or the Pink Floyd. I, I got right. introduced to, you know, uh, to all that, to Later. something that people have known all their life. And, right. you know, the, when I was in my early 20s. So, so you know, what, were you li- a... <laughs> what were you listening to back then? Like Russian pop. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't, wow. I didn't have any kind of... Training I mean, they got their own industry over there, right? Yeah, they got, it's yeah. like I didn't, you know, I didn't hear any underground music right. growing up over there. So um, there was no MTV or no, no like pop up video or nothing like that. No, I mean, we had our version of MTV, MTV <laughs> right, right. but it was all pop Russian, pop, right? You know. So when I came here, I, you know, kind of like moved towards Britney Spears and like mm. you know all the pop music, and then right. I, after five years, I started to hate it. <laughs> <laughs> But five years? That's a yeah. long time, dude. <laughs> I yeah, was five years 12, well. 13, 14. That's what I listened to at the yeah. time. Um, so, 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 yeah. yeah. Go ahead. No, I mean, so, I, I mean, I had to grow out of, out of, the, out of the pop genre. Nothing wrong with pop. We have uh, poppy songs some right. that have that feel, but uh, I definitely moved more towards indie rock later in my life. <laughs> 
So what was it that, um, you know, how old were you or, you know, what, what, you know, point in your life did you realize that you were a writer and, and, and what made you like really pursue it? Uh, well, I think I was, um, a writer since I could write. I mean, yeah, me honestly. too. I've always been a writer. I'm a creative writer. I'll just say that. Yeah. So that's really why I'm asking because I really want to, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, a journal, I, I wrote poetry since I was young. Um, nice. When I started taking it seriously in my early 20s, and mm-hmm. uh, after a um, teacher of mine graded my essay, and he said, you have a flair of a writer. I was like, okay, that's it. That's all the information I need. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so that's when it really kicked it to mm. high gear. And right. I and then taking you, it seriously. Yeah. Right. And then you started a blog later. Yeah. Started a blog, and that was happening for a while, for years. And then all that energy went towards writing uh, the novels. And, oh, okay. And... I finally finished and perfected, edited one of them. Man, and we gotta <laughs> we gotta go over there and talk to Romans, man. Yeah. We need a we need a book signing yeah. deal right now. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> yes. We need a book first. Right. Oh, so yeah. you don't so you don't it's have gonna, the book? Yeah. No, I have the book. Well, yeah, the, she has no. Yeah, it, need, it just needs to be published. Yeah. Right. So she's talking just meaning agent. I need an agent. Right. right. <laughs> agent and publisher. Then right. Romans. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so before non duo, there was Wicked Saints. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, that's uh, that's actually what I was doing when I when I when I met her. Is okay. I, I, not not Wicked Saints, but my drummer, he uh, he in Wicked Saints, he uh, sings and plays guitar. I was backing him up uh, on on a set of his at, okay. at this place in Arcadia. Hmm. Um, but yeah, Wicked Saints, uh, we we put two albums out and and two uh, singles after that and um and uh and well, how many pieces of the band was it varied you know we we sometimes we would just play me and my drummer mm. uh he would play cajon and you know he did a lot of vocals with me uh you usually would try to be like three piece or four piece uh we were, got up to six piece mm. at some points wow. you know so that's it, a band right there. yeah it varied <laughs> yeah it was good it was good no doubt yeah and so you guys didn't release like no demos or like a an actual no they know, have two albums okay so nice you actually said that I'm sorry yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but uh no doubt that's awesome and so you know you said you guys it was you backed them up at a show in Arcadia yeah what venue was that that was at Matt Danny's Ale House oh nice yeah. nice okay so I mean you guys how long have you guys been doing this just uh, together yeah, me and just fa- fast like forward again years? I'm sorry a couple of years yeah. Yeah. yeah and so what venues you guys hitting up along the way a lot of open uh, mics well we've done uh, Matt Danny's and mm-hmm. yeah several uh, times and, and uh, uh, we've done uh, State okay. Social House is that one State Social, Social House uh, we, okay. um, um, a lot of wineries uh, been doing up going north. to Craft Hill uh, in South Pasadena a okay. lot lately uh, and, we uh, uh, performed at a church. That was our CD release. Yeah. We did it at a church. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> We're trying to get on Levitt. <laughs> right, right. Well, we'll talk this, about that. We can yeah. probably make something happen. Really? Oh, I mean, I cool. do have... Uh, we can ah, talk. Let's talk yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, that's... You know, I mean, you know, Summer Long Music Festival. You know, they, they got it. There's definitely opportunities. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's... I'm actually still impressed with how it gets put together. Because it's like... It's just the concept of it's great. But uh, definitely, you guys definitely need a, a shot up there. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? There's a lot and of we stages. We performed at the Skid Row Festival, so yeah. that's kind of oh, really? similar vibe. Where was that? Well, I know where Skid <laughs> Row know. is at, but yeah. where was it? Was like Pershing Square no, or something? No, I mean like a lot of people passing through, you know. Like, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, right here in downtown L.A.? Yeah. Yeah, that place is real. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah Gladys Park. I, I started doing that festival with uh, Wicked Saints um, and, uh, and then just kept doing it. Kept doing it every every year, and then uh, when, uh, the last couple with Marina, there, mm. you know, it's like a, a homeless benefit, and right. uh, at, at this park in Skid Row, and, mm. and it's uh, it's it's wild. It's wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know the the Levitt, you know, they got the one here in Pasadena, mm-hmm. and then they have, you know, I think like two other locations, yeah, MacArthur, MacArthur park. park, and then there's another one. Uh, somewhere yeah. it's somewhere but i know about the other one in macarthur park yeah. um but you know but the thing about the one in pasadena is that you know you go on that stage you know it's a premier stage for the festival that's actually here you know what yeah. i mean so uh you know macarthur park is you know active 24 7 365 but you know that festival that comes here every summer is definitely worth getting on you know i did it one year you know what i mean but i wasn't in i wasn't on the colorado street stage or the levitt you know mm-hmm. but 
you know, you got to kind of work your way there. You mean, are you talking about making make music? Make music, Pasadena, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Wicked Saints did that a couple of years. Oh, no doubt. Yeah. What stage did you guys get it on? It was at the Armory. Oh, nice. Right yeah. there on Raymond. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'm familiar with it. David Vidal set it up. He, uh, this blues player. He, he played a lot of slide guitar on our albums. Mm. Uh, but uh, he, he had an ongoing thing there at the at the Armory. And oh, nice. He set us up. Maybe reach back out to him and see if you guys yeah. can. We'll headline you, man. We'll give you the cover of the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so real quick, you know, back to the album. Uh, I really want to know, you know, what, what are some of your favorite tracks off the album, ultimately? Give me, like, you know, your top three. Top three. Uh, you probably have different ones. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. <laughs> I, I, I really dig um, uh, Wild Junkie Dream. Okay. And uh, and I'd say this one is for me. Those, those are kind of my favorites. Nice. I, I'd say uh, Dark, Free, and Not Too. <laughs> oh yeah, so explain not to. That was one that I, I I didn't get all the way through. That's the one. Uh, it's worth getting to. <laughs> so right. That's the title uh, title song. Right. Uh, it's, it's, Out of it's, all it's, the it's ones, very huh? very. Uh, it's uh, I don't know how to explain. It's just so etherically quiet, but it's just beautifully haunting. And <laughs> mm. <laughs> I just I just love the production. We did a great job on it. Um, and it, and it does. It has a lot of non dual you know, stuff in, in it. And, yeah. But it's just a beautiful love song. Right. right. No doubt. Um, and it's yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we placed it as the last song uh, for a reason. It just closes it off uh, the album very nicely. Yeah. No doubt. Plays uh, it to a gentle. Close. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> the closure. You know, audiences right. need closure too. You know. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, so that's what it is. Uh, you said not to, and you didn't say dark just because of that day, right? It wasn't just because. You no, know, it's the, just it it's was just, raining. No, no, it's just my favorite it's a song of all time. <laughs> I think no it's doubt. a perfect like exit song for a film too. Right. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Well, I, I like the high on the water. Yeah. yeah that, that one, you know, sounded real serious. Fun. I took some notes right here just so I, I know off top, but. Could you uh, tell uh, from the lyrics? Or could you tell what it's about? What's the uh, high on the water? You know, I, I have to hear it again mm-hmm. to know. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna. I can't. You know, chalk <laughs> up. You know, anything that's not there. But uh, you know, it did. I did listen. I will say this about the album: that when I heard it, I did not hear anybody. Like, mm-hmm. like when I heard it, it, it was completely original. You know how you hear some stuff, you'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah, that was Whitney Houston. It sounds like Whitney Houston, or <laughs> yeah. it sounds like, yeah. you know, yeah. Paul Revere or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, when I hear this, I didn't think, you know, uh, Christina Aguilera. I didn't think, I thought, like, independent artists, this was something new. You know what I mean? So I definitely want to applaud you guys on the originality of the album. And uh, I think you guys did a superb job on, on you know, crafting something new. You know what I mean? That. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So you guys are actually still campaigning on this album right now? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that it'll ever <laughs> stop. I, mean, I, don't, I think it's like... I mean, we have new songs, and we always, you know, writing new stuff. Right. And, um, and we're doing covers as well, so it's... But, yeah, of course, you know, we have to. It just got released last year. Last okay, year, yeah, 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 yeah. End of last year, right? so... Yeah. And then you, you kind of know. you got to play it by ear. You kind of know when it's time to just release the next one, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely not right now. No. But, <laughs> you know, we still got some music on here that has to flourish, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, are there, um, there weren't too many f- other features on the album. It was just you guys, right? Yeah. <clears throat> That's another. Well, well, a, uh, lot uh, instruments. Yeah, there, a lot yeah, of other instruments. Yeah, instruments. yeah. Um, uh, Chad Watson from, he, he was the bass player on Wicked Saints. And, uh, okay. He's, he's like this amazing multi-instrumentalist. Uh, he plays... Uh, he plays mandolin on a lot of tracks. He mm. played uh, he played trombone on oh, a couple wow. of tracks. You hear uh, saying goodbye, nice. uh, and uh, another yeah, I noticed different instruments. I had is, um, um, uh, again three great multi instrumentalists. Mm. Uh, that uh, Amanda Johnson, uh-huh. she played bass on a couple. She played uh, guitar, guitar piano. and piano. She played mm. piano on on uh, not two. Nice. Uh, and she's so, a musician friend of mine from long yeah. ago who's known me a long time. And she's like, she's the one who said, yes, you can sing. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right Phil, Phil Parlapiano, he played banjo and accordion. Mm. And um, Michael Jokum played drums. Yeah. Uh, nice. And all the tracks. All the tracks. And, yeah. wow. and wasn't he like... Um, he played on corn. He played with oh, uh, really? Jackson yeah. Brown. Wow. Yeah. He's a... He's a 
He's Googleable. <laughs> right, <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> well, you know, I think uh, I think it's good that you guys, you know, brought in those different instruments. You know, what I mean that that really <clears throat> sets the bar for music. You know what I mean? When you, especially when you put out an album, it's like okay, what genre is it? You know, like even hip hop. Hip hop. You know, there's only so many sounds that are used, so many instruments. You know what I mean? But when you do fusion, you know what I mean? You can have the trombone, you can have the accordion, and then the harmonica. You know what I mean? Some that are complex, some that are not so complex. Yeah. So I, I just think that, that, you know, that's what just adds to that whole original aspect of this project right here. And uh, and so, you know, ultimately, what, what do you guys plan on accomplishing through it? Just play as much as possible, reach as many people as possible, really. Right. I mean, and uh, hopefully get some songs on in movies and TV. Because we feel like a lot of our songs uh, have yeah, that tend to that. absolutely. So, they have uh, the score feel. Like, yeah. you can tell, like, uh, you know, this is like, you know, someone's being robbed right now. But it's just <laughs> scenes. And you hear the music. You know yeah. what I mean? Or, or, you know, just like time passing. And there's just a, a message being conveyed, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that's ultimately, like, our goal. And just keep playing and... Uh, it's, it's fun, right. you know. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah I mean, at this point, you, you definitely got to have to love to do it. You know what I mean? Just to yeah. keep, you know, keep consistent with it. Yeah. And you know, I know, I know, it's always a, uh, a it's, it's always a roller coaster. You know what I mean? Because, you know, and, and again, that's why you know you got to have the love for it. Because if you don't, then you're just not going to do it. You know no. what I mean? And when it's fun, it's not so much work. Yeah. Or yeah. At least it doesn't feel that way. Yeah, it's not work. <laughs> it's play. Yeah. No doubt. Right. So, uh, I mean, I would ask you guys, if, I don't know, did I see you brought your guitar? Yeah, I don't yeah, know if yeah, you wanted to give us a quick exclusive. Yeah, Absolutely. sure. That would be awesome. Is there uh, a song that you prefer? Yeah, yeah, real quick. Uh, I'll let you know right now. We're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, we will hear this exclusive performance by Marina Gutman. And stay tuned. We'll be right back. 